Comprehensive sex education, complete with information about birth control, appears to substantially cut the risk of teen pregnancy. Researchers from the University of Washington examined results from a national survey of more than 1,700 adolescents. Two-thirds of the teenagers reported receiving complete sex education. A quarter said they had received abstinence-only classes and 9% had no sex education at all. Results showed that those with the most comprehensive sex ed classes were 60% less likely to get pregnant or impregnate someone than those who received no sexual education. There was a modest trend toward reduced risk of pregnancy among kids who had abstinence-only classes, but there were too few teenagers in these groups to allow for a meaningful comparison. Another trend suggested teens who attended comprehensive classes were less likely to have sex, a finding researchers did not see for those who had abstinence-only education. Experts say these results show that kids who have the most information about sex tend to make the best choices. The United States spends $200 million annually on abstinence programs, including so-called virginity pledges, where adolescents promise to remain chaste, usually until marriage. But a new study finds that all this money may not make a difference. Researchers from the Johns Hopkins School of Public Health examined sexual behavior in more than 900 teenagers, around 300 of whom said they had made virginity pledges. But five years later, those who had made pledges had the same rates of premarital sex, the use of birth control, and the odds of having had a sexually transmitted disease. What's more, 84% of adolescents who initially said they had made a virginity pledge denied ever having done so. A previous study found that half of teenagers who made virginity pledges retracted them within one year. The teenage pregnancy rate in the U.S. is up for the first time in 14 years, a sign many experts say points to an urgent need for total sex education where adolescents learn about birth control as well as the benefits of abstinence. I'm Dr. Timothy Johnson.